Now, let's have a look at organization performance models. These are different from maturity models. The performance models um, happen when there hasn't been time uh, to gather enough history to determine that organizations improve in a particular sequence. All we know is that um, we want to get better and we want to find out are we getting better. We want some way to measure our performance. Uh, we also want to know roughly what's holding us back and uh, how we compare with our competitors. Now, these are pretty common. And uh, there is a difference between the performance versus the maturity. So just, just to summarize those, with the maturity model, there is a concept of better performance. There is historical evidence of maturity stages and each stage has dominant problems that must be addressed before the organization as a whole can advance. With a performance measure, there's also a concept of a better performance. We have some intuitive sense of what is better, better, better process performance, better outcomes, better something. We don't have a lot of history, uh, if any. Each level in the performance scale has a performance criteria that must be achieved. All right? And improvements can be made to processes independent of each other. So that's, that's some of the characteristics of it. But the biggest difference is, as I say, with the performance model, you don't have a lot of history. Uh, we think intuitively there ought to be some different levels of performance, and we devise a, these level of performances. Our performance models are constructed by experts. Um, I've been party to those sort of constructions. Um, they're based on observed performance levels and reasonable expectations. And most adopt the five uh, level performance model that was uh, first developed in um, the software CMM. That is, you performed, managed, defined, uh, measured, and uh, optimizing. Now, I say the um, some domain experts, ISACA. Uh, dealing with governance. There are big organizations in the States that deal with uh, organization governance. The International Standards Organization has, has put together a number of um, uh, performance models. And the Project Management Institute also put uh, some together. Now that's just three of them. There are a lot of um, performance models available, uh, usually they with something CMM. And there are a lot of them, as I say. There are some for software development, there's uh, system development, software testing, software asset management, uh, which I thought was actually a pretty good one. COVID, also coming out of Osaka. OPM3, the uh, project management three layer, is a, uh, a project portfolio performance, uh, which is the three somewhere in there. Uh, ITIL, the service management uh, infrastructure library uh, has a scale of uh, performance models. The GIS, CMM, um, I was surprised to find that one. Research data management, there's a maturity model for that. And cybersecurity, CMM. So almost any domain uh, where there is some level of expertise can put together uh, a CMM to describe, or performance model to describe uh, increasing levels of uh, performance. So the summary for performance models is maturity models have different stages. Performance models don't have different stages, but they do provide levels of improving performance. Performance models are usually developed by domain experts, um, and there's now a lot of them for most things.